everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and it's our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 30th, 2023. Let's oh get it. <laughs> let's get a card. Okay. So a brilliant idea. We're gonna go through this, and I think this week I might just do a quick one card pull for each of the signs. People are very attached to signs. It doesn't really go along with what I do, but maybe it's fun. I don't know. Let's see. Brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. So as I'm using this deck very purposely because all the archangels that come up, integrate them, invite them in when you're meditating so that you can get maybe messages. Obviously, I am offering angel mediumship courses, connect with your angel courses, and you can book yours by emailing me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. That's also where you would get a live reading. That's how you would schedule that is through that email. If you want to do the standard reading, you just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. Those require no time commitment on your part. So anyway, let's dive into this. Archangel Uriel, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So a lot of people out there, we get these little divinely creative little hits, right? And we might dismiss it or more than anything, that's great, but I'll get to that once I pay the bills or that's great, I'll get to that once I cook dinner or <laughs> do the laundry or whatever. Sorry about the siren. But there's a lot of sirens. Ooh, that stopped right outside. Okay, hold on. That literally stopped at my neighbor's house. Um, so I'm going to be keeping an eye on that. They're not like rushing around, so... Hopefully it's okay. The sad part is there's kids playing across the street and they're all stopped, like looking like, oh no, what's going on? Okay, anyway, that's very weird for that to happen during reading. I will leave that in, um, except for the part of me not being here, but I'll leave that in because I don't know. You you give me your take on that. Uh, so we were talking about this divine inspiration, this bolt of lightning kind of idea. Now this could be a solution or something. You know, we just had an eclipse, so maybe there is an ending here and that frees you up to be able to do some different kind of thinking right to see things from a different angle okay okay so then we have divine order divine inspiration so things are coming to you but they're coming in a way that maybe you hadn't expected or maybe it wasn't on your timing so you maybe gave up or something like that. Something is finally coming on through. And it feels like, yeah, you're, you're taking the message in. You're going to implement it. But there are some considerations and there's an approach that needs to be made or needs to be approached a certain way. But there's this other energy around it where it's like, it's not going to go the way you think. All right. It's not going to go any sort of way by pushing on it. So this is Archangel Raguel. So Raguel is all about harmonizing with others, uh, finding common ground, all of that. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So all is not lost. There, There is something happening in divine timing and in a very balanced way, there's like scales there that's always indicating to us that there needs to be some harmony and balance in how we approach things. Okay. Healthy lifestyle. I need this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I moved, as you know, moved into this new house. Ugh, I don't know where my pans are <laughs> to cook. It's a whole thing. But anyway, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet and get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. I just had this beautiful conversation with someone and we were talking about the importance of the physical health and being grounded in the physical body and how that helps nurture a human experience. So there's something that's going on here. And I think that um, like if you have been, like most people, going through a lot recently, sorry about the glare, uh, you've been going through a lot and maybe you've been neglecting your health or, you know, feeling like you can't process things because you're in survival mode. This is saying slow down. Some energy is breaking open here. And I think this is an opportunity full on to live in a different way. Okay. This could be maybe a new career coming in or a new, again, I'm just want to say opportunity. 
a new opportunity to take a fresh perspective on what already is uh, and definitely be paying attention to your physicality as well. <laughs> Prosperity. This is Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided for as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So this is what is breaking open your prosperity and it does start this week. So there could be a very profitable idea that comes through for you. There could be an aha moment about your health for some of you that comes with a health scare. That could definitely be playing out like that. But more than anything, it's it's kind of like, okay, here's here's some bit of stress or something that wasn't coming to fruition, something that wasn't coming together. And it had to be that way because of divine order. So don't roll your eyes at that and say, oh, I want it my way or no way. I mean, we gotta, we gotta be careful with that. All right. We have magenta. I love this card. It's connect to your deepest inner knowing the number is five. This is a week of change, but it is a week of very positive change. You're finally... I feel like you're being free and you're finally cutting through the nonsense and going towards what you already know to be true. Going in a direction that makes you happy. Allowing yourself to open up to divine wisdom to come on through. And so often I have people say, well, how do I do that? Well, that's that's part of spiritual practice. That's part of, um, you know, this is why people get readings. This is why they take courses. It's something that you develop, okay? It's just like any other skill. But overall, so far, this can be a very prosperous week where there's some solution, especially around how you, um, what you bring to fruition, what kind of idea, that inspiration that comes through, how do you make it real? What does it become? All right. So give yourself a little chance to explore that. Don't just shut it down and then miss it, right? We don't want to do that. <laughs> so just as an experiment this week, let's get on to the signs quick card pull. All right. So Aries, you have spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. So pay attention to the Archangel that comes up for you. That's who you want to be working with this week. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Ariel is all about obviously being grounded, but she's also about material manifestations, prosperity, abundance, I'm telling you, I feel like something, now if you didn't watch the first part of it, that's part of your message as well. So go back. There's lots of prosperity, new ideas coming in, a flash of inspiration. For you, the timing is perfect. It's time to spread your wings. For Taurus, we have patience. Aw, so if you just listen to Aries, <laughs> now you have to wait. But we have Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel is all about beauty, higher wisdom, potential, and she brings a message of see the beauty in waiting. See the beauty in making sure you get everything by being patient. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So not quite yet for you, but that just means that like all of your dreams may not come true like this week, <laughs> but, but they are coming true. For Gemini, we have brilliant idea. This was part of the... Uh, the original message there, Archangel Uriel. Uriel is about strength, courage, much like Archangel Michael, but it comes from this really high wisdom place and he teaches us to do that as well. So that means not just making choices from like the ego self, right? But rather integrating some understanding the divine inspiration. That's how I want to put it. So when it comes in, you're not just automatically rejecting it and saying, well, that's not how I think things should go. Therefore, I'm not accepting it, right? Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Just move my microphone here closer to me. <laughs> so there is that for you. For cancer, we have life review. So you're taking a beat. This is Archangel Jeremiah. You're taking a beat. What have I done in the past? What doesn't work for me? What have I allowed to take place, right? This is that sort of thing of show people your boundaries, don't just talk about them kind of thing. So like, you know, you could sit here and say, hey, I don't like that. But then if you go ahead and go along with whatever they're saying, then, you know, that's not really setting a boundary. Okay, so it says, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So this feels a lot like taking accountability in some sense, but this is also, 
again, you're stopping bad habits. You're, uh, but these are like bad habits that you have on a deep level. Like I was using the example of boundaries. I mean, you can set those boundaries, but if you don't follow them, nobody respects them, right? This life review is also kind of looking over what don't I need to keep repeating? You know, um, what is my emotional response to things? What is it that I'm doing to draw things in? Okay. Leo, we have creative writing for you. So this could be journaling, getting your feelings out. It's Archangel Gabriel. This is about clear communication to yourself. Yes. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. Now, for some of you, this could be Maybe you are actually writing a book and it's time to bring that to fruition, but make sure it's coming from the heart. Make sure it's not just an ego pursuit. This is something that you're really passionate about. Whatever message you have, that it's really coming through um, authentically, right? So just be careful. This is almost like if you're, if you are a writer and your book is off with somebody and the marketing team tells the editor, it has to be this, this, and this, so it sells more. (laughs) Like some of you might just be like, I don't know. I want it to come from an authentic place. Trust that part. For Virgo, you have overcoming difficulties, okay? So you get to kind of chill out here a little bit and allow your dreams to come to fruition by, you know, I keep talking about survival mode, but it is very that, popping out of survival mode. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Part of that, I want to say, is sort of... um just these beautiful realizations, right? These realizations of, I don't have to let that harm me, or I don't have to let something have my energy. I don't have to go along with this, that, and the other. I don't have to hang out with that group of friends if they aren't supportive and loving. I don't have to allow people to walk all over me. They don't get my energy, okay? They don't get my energy. So that's one of them. But you know, you guys kind of have this thing about worrying. So (laughs) maybe you're learning a better way to cope with that. Okay. So then we have Libra, we have breathe. So Librans, you're having to take a beat. Again, this is like some other signs here where you're just taking a beat, reconnecting with the soul self. Anything on the surface, that's just a distraction. It's stealing your energy. It's keeping you from fulfilling your dreams, really from uh, buckling down and doing the things that you want. Again, because you're being pulled in too many different directions. This is Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken energy, awaken your energy and to release old patterns. There is a theme going on here <laughs> this week with so many different signs having to take a beat, take a breath, to become grounded and centered again and to release what we thought we had to do. There's For you guys specifically, I think there's a whole lot of conditioning and sort of modeling that you're now releasing, okay? For Scorpio, you know what to do, Scorpio, okay? (laughs) It's Archangel Uriel, strength, wisdom, courage, Uh, but he's just such a big presence. And to me, Uriel represents showing up as you are unapologetically. So this follows a period of being fed up, (laughs) potentially. So if you're tired of people just walking all over you, you walk away. And you don't let them do that, right? So trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. There is going to be some big download, if we want to call it that, or some intuitive hit. There's something that pops up that makes you go, there it is. That's the direction I want to go in. That's what I need to be doing here. And really getting into a space, again, that courage helps you fulfill it and not keep holding yourself back. Okay. Then for Sagittarius, we have victory. This is a good week, or hopefully it's a good week for people individually. I, the world, whole other thing. Okay. But Archangel Sandalfin. Sandalfin, you want to think of him as the Archangel of music, healing through sound frequency, balancing, harmonizing. He knows what it is to be human. Okay. So, and he's, so Sandalfin used to be the prophet Elijah. Metatron used to be the prophet Enoch. They're considered brothers. As far as I know, those are the only two examples of angels being in human form. People love to argue that. Whatever. Okay. (laughs) Archangel Sandalfin, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So for some of you, you need to stop begging. Okay. Some of you are just out there like, come on, universe, come on, universe, come on, universe. And it's saying, hold on, you've got this. It's coming through. But if you're so busy begging, you won't see the victory that's already there. 
For Capricorn, we have clear your space. So a lot of you, you've been through a ton of stuff and it is time to stop and cut the ties or to, as we say, cut cords, cut any sort of energetic interference and allow yourself to be restored. It's Archangel Jophiel. She's all about beauty, harmony, wisdom, fulfilling your potential. That's also Archangel Shamuel, but Jophiel can help you see the beauty in freeing yourself <laughs> from old ideas whatever okay this says get rid of clutter clear the energy around you and use feng shui so some of you might even find it beneficial to go around clearing out things from your home this is one of those interesting things that people don't think about and i've said this before in previous readings if you have antiques around your home those carry an energy if you had a breakup in that home that carries an energy okay so you'll want to clear your space Free yourself up. And as you see, she has her heart wide open. This is going to be incredibly beneficial for you in, in manifesting even. This is getting things moving. Okay. Aquarius, you have gentleness. This is Archangel Sandalfin. I was explaining to some other signs. Sandalfin is all about sound healing. Think of him as the Archangel of music, of groundedness, balancing your chakras. Okay. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So something is shifting and changing for you. It could take a lot of effort to facilitate that change. But if it's a deep pattern, this might have to do with navigating how other people are now responding to you because you're changing, you're morphing, you're growing. Maybe you're tired of people taking advantage of you. Maybe you're tired of being controlled. As you change this and people want to come at you for changing or not letting you, or not letting them make you a punching bag, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, be gentle with yourself. So this means not taking on guilt that people are trying to just throw at you because they have a certain idea of you and they expect you to fall in with that. Okay. Then Pisces, we have take back your power, Archangel Raziel. Raziel helps us see the light in the dark. He helps us see what is possible. So often his help comes up when maybe you've been lost for a while. Um, maybe you've been feeling kind of low. He shows up and shows you that there is a solution, okay? That there is a way to embrace love and to feel that expansiveness and to reclaim yourself, right? Use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. And that's really what this comes down to. You realize, okay, if I don't like my circumstances, I can change them. And I feel the power now to do that. I feel like I can proceed with that. So we'll leave it there for everybody. I'm sending y'all so much love and take care. <music>